let's see here. Let's see if we can find us some more Russians. I think we've got our transport convoy, or rather, our one submarine tender that we were trying to take out here. But, looks like we might have to ascend back up to the... the, uh, the surface duct, or rather, ascend, keep ascending up to the surface duct in order to find where those guys are. But that may potentially put us at a bad... in a bad spot. But we're gonna turn off running silent and reload Torpedo Tube 1, since that's apparently the only one with a wire. And also, once again, developers, if you happen to be listening to me ramble about the game, it'd be nice to know if what, it'd be nice to be, be nice to designate the torpedo tube that has a wire innately, rather than having to wait until you actually just figure it out. This information is important and I need to know it, but I, there's no quick way of figuring it out. I will pick it up like second hand after I learn it, but I have absolutely no idea, no quick way of looking at it and discerning something before I actually, uh, uh, you know, do an action that may cause me to be killed. And that's, I'd like to avoid that if possible. So, helping first-timers learn the submarine warfare would actually help. But honestly, I can say, this is very fun when you actually figure out what the fuck you're doing! But, let's see what we can manage here. We still got two more contacts in the area. Coming up to the... Th uh, the surface duct may cause us to be more easily detected, but we can dive right back down to the surface, below the thermal layer, just in case. Well, just if anything happens. But we, what we want to do... And also, being able to see, like, for example, the range of a sonar buoy represented on the tactical map and the range of all these other things may be a bit arcadey, but it would be nice. Because once again, there's no way to very, very quickly get this kind of information aside from, like, memorizing it in a fucking textbook, like, format that's actually really hard to find. That's another thing. The glossary does not have this information either. So, I'm kind of left wondering, how the fuck does all this shit work? It's a lot of guesswork, and it's not exactly really fair at the end of the day. I am colossally underinformed, and the only way I can actually figure out is by experience and guesswork, which is a way of going about games, but it's not exactly the most optimal way of doing things. If this game was a little bit, I hesitantly use the word, accessible, you know, more people would actually more play it more, or actually be able to get into it quicker and have less frustrations. I figured this shit out, or I'm starting to figure this shit out, but it kind of pissed me off and I had to digest a lot of information, and also write down all of this other information as well. Which, mostly, it's mostly for the shift keys right now. But we may actually have to ascend to mass level and actually look around if we can't find anything at the, at the duct. And I have that marked down. I know what I'm doing, basically. Alright, yeah, we need to ascend to 50 feet. But then again, the Skipjack's mast is very, very, sh like, well, it's, uh, well, it's conning tower. It's actually very, very large. So it may be a little bit shorter than that. Or actually a little bit, well, we need to come up a little bit less than that in order to use it. So let's see here, very carefully, bring us up to the surface duct, so we, that we can potentially see where the fuck the enemy ships are. Passing 100, there it is. All right, we need to stop. So we've got the cannon on radar, or actually sonar. Has he picked us up? I have no idea. But we're starting to apparently build a targeting solution. You know, his range, and his bearing, his bearing is 32. It looks like he's either coming right at us or traveling away from us. Let's observe the signature and see what we get. We could make visual contact if we were really, 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 uh, really cheeky about here. So actually, you know what? We haven't done, we haven't done a periscope opt in a while. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the ballast come up a little bit higher. A little bit. Little, 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 little bit. Little tiny bit. Little bit, little bit. We need to get to 50. And also, yeah, it, it, apparently it does account for the mass of the submarine, so I don't have to do that. Nope, 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 stop that. Stop that. Wrong button. See, this is what happens when I do that um, without really paying attention. Okay, so, zero, periscope. The cannon should be in this direction. Where the fuck is he? Oh, that's our bear. He's coming at us. Great. If 
fucking Tupolev. Get out of here. I don't have visual contact, though. So he's bearing 33. So he should be... Well, well, right there. And he's sailing directly towards us. Okay, so that's our... Right. Down periscope. Fill ballast, please. We want to go down. Doesn't seem to know where we are. But we want to go down. Want to sink below the thermal layer before we fire so that the enemy isn't tipped off to our position. Or the torpedo coming straight at his face. But we've got our targeting solution now. And now we're just going to sink back down and prep the torpedo tubes. So he's coming. He's, well, he's bearing 33, so it's slightly off in this direction. Let's just slightly turn ourselves so that we are basically aligned with the target. He may be able to see us now better, but we're below the thermal layer, so we should be safe. So now that we are below the thermal layer, we're going to level out here, and then we're going to fire a torpedo. Fire about there. And then we're going to watch what Ivan does. We can actually stare at him as this comes in, because we have 95% targeting solution. You know, all the boys are just kind of hanging around on deck. You know, what a wonderful day. We, f we had a radar, we had a, we had a, we had a sonar contact. And it just sunk two of the ships in this general area. But you know what? We can find the nuclear submarine. We can find the Yankees. They're not that smart. We can handle them. Right? Right? <laughs> okay, he's turning. So, he can probably see the torpedo, or maybe he's making, you know... Actually, he can't see the torpedo until it gets really close. He might be able to actually get it, though. Actually be able to see it. It's below the thermal layer, so it's, he has to, it has to get really close. So his turn, his late turn, may have been him finally reacting to the torpedo, by the, but, you know, it being about halfway to the fucking target. So it's already kind of too late, and also, it's a wire-guided torpedo, and it's gonna find your ass. So, this is one of the things, at least for modern submarines, if it was Silent Hunter and we were playing World War II U-boats, I'd actually have to straight up lead targets and hope that they actually hit. But that's the difference of another time and space in terms of warfare. So what's our actual, what's the minimum range that this thing can be picked up? Because that's kind of the thing I'm sort of worried about, or rather trying to figure out. Since I want to, I make the waypoints very, very, very sort of sh well short of the target, to allow the active sensor enough time to actually pick up the target. But what's the actual... I need to actually observe this, because I know how this happens. Like, I know I know this, because, like, you get the target in the triangle, or around the triangle, and then it actually... The, the, um, the, the, the sonar in the torpedo itself can pick up the target, find it itself. But where exactly, or how far do I need to be away for that to happen? Or rather, where should I put it? in an optimal sense, because I'm putting it well short to let the torpedo run. But when the torpedo is running like this, it's activated and they can potentially sense it. But we see the cannon moving around, so we're just gonna adjust the torpedo's flight path because yay, wire guidance! And... So when do we actually pick up this target? Okay, there it is. Alright, so it's about that distance, if I can eyeball it. But very, very, actually very, very close. But that's, that, that's putting a lot of faith in your targeting solution to do that. If you let it run for a little while, you could, you know, kind of just sort of move it around and hope that the, the actual sensors on the, uh, on the torpedo can find the target. But I seem to have been doing it a very safe, but not necessarily optimal way. And the cannon has now seen the torpedo and is attempting to evade the torpedo, I would assume. Or he should have seen the torpedo now. If he can't see the torpedo at this distance, he's royally fucked.
but it seems like they are using active sonar, but they can't actually find me. So it looks like I'm doing my job right here in terms of actually being, you know, actually properly evading, a, well, evading the targets and evading active sonar. I'm not necessarily making any, making too many wild maneuvers here, which is funny as hell as well. And also, it looks like they dropped another sonar buoy. They're still trying to find me, but they're not anywhere close. Okay. Any moment now, Mr. Torpedo will find Ivan. And then Ivan will no longer be findable. Well, we'll know where he is. We'll mark it on the map. We'll know where the wreck is. Oh, it's a knuckle. But fuck you, I've got wire guidance. I'll guide that shit in manually. I'm just like, fuck it. The fucking hellsman, give me the damn controls. I've got this. Captain grips the joystick and drive, you know, guides the torpedo in from the targeting computer. I can handle this. He disappeared, but we've already got him. But, well, now he's dead. He got a little closer than I would have liked, but, well, he's dead now. Actually, wait a minute. What? Is he actually sinking? I don't think he's actually sinking. Rather, the marker on the radar is really far off. But then again, we lost contact on the... That's him, right? Yeah, that's him. So we sank him. So that's kind of off target there. He's a lot closer than the tactical map would have actually led me to believe. Even though I had an accurate targeting solution. That's very strange. But, well, since we've got that, we've still got one more contact in the area. So now we need to ascend back up to the surface duct and hunt around a bit. So we're going to put... Well, actually, no. Wrong key. Right. Ballast C. Or rather, E, rather. I was pressing the, the um the semicolon keys for the signature analysis. We already know what every, everything is. And half of the things in this area are dead. So we don't need to know what it is. We need to know it for posterity, but well. And it's not all, it's not majorly important. Let's see, where's the cannon here? The cannon is in, still in the process of sinking. So he's right over there. So he's a bit, yeah, right over there on our, on, on our right, on the starboard side. Yes, okay, so actually the... Yeah, it's above 100 feet, so I kind of tipped the ballast there a little bit too early. Passing 100 feet. So what we need to do now, since we're not getting any radar contacts, we need to still... We need to, we need to hunt around for Alpha. So what we're going to do is to come back up to mass depth. Yes, right about there. And actually, we're going to use our ECM mast, which is nine. And attempt to discern where the fuck's, what the fuck's going on. It looks like the bear has finally ditched us. Okay, let's try the periscope. Since we've got no targets on radar either. So that would be, okay, so what's our bearing right now? If I could actually discern what it, because the, 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 this can be kind of weird. Okay, so we're bearing about 33, right? Also, it'd be nice to see if I could see my, with all of these things over here, with the, you know, the ownership and whatnot, for my own sub, it'd be nice to see my own bearing down here for reference, quick reference. But, let's see here. So, we're bearing 33, and our target is probably bearing somewhere around 0 or 300 or rather 390 somewhere around there rather 360 rather right it's a circle duh so he should be over there but we don't have to see we don't seem to have anything on here so it looks like we're just gonna have to just maybe if we ping surface radar for a moment He's not using active radar, or we can't pick him up. So let's try, let's try the radar mast.
Doesn't look like we've got anything. All right, so we're just gonna have to keep cruising in that direction until we find something. We're gonna come down a bit lower because we're gonna. We're, we're, this is a little uh, what you call a little close to the surface, I think, for this kind of action, just in case he manages to surprise us somehow. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fill the ballast up a little bit and we're gonna sink. We're still gonna say, remain on the surface, duck, because we still need to find that fourth ship. But we're just gonna sink a little bit lower than mass depth. A little bit lower, probably about 70. That fe that feels safe to me, even though I still have absolutely no idea if this actually does anything. But we still need we need to maintain on the surface duct so our our sonar waves bounce off of things more easily. If we're below the thermal layer, which is, if we see right up here, this is where our, our passive sonar is going to be the most effective, or anything is going to be the most effective. If we're down here, like the diagram that they show in the uh, in the instruction manual, uh, our, our sonar and radar waves are just going to go, so we're not going to be able to see stuff. There's a big blind spot in this area for how we're actually going to be able to detect things. So we need to... Well, we need to stay up here in order to actually find what the hell we're trying to kill. Okay. We could attempt an active sonar ping. Since we're on the, the lair, though this will immediately give us away. But it'll probably send them right at trying to come find us rather than actually, you know, immediately kill us. We should be a safe distance away if we can't pick them up on sonar at all. All right, so. Hmm. All right then. Sonar one ping. I said one goddamn ping, but it doesn't look like we've actually found anything. So Alpha may have vacated the area. Oh, no vessels nearby, no weapons nearby, aircraft flooding, but let's actually... Right, we have to go back, but let's keep looking. We're going to be running a bit noisy here, but let's see if we can get this thing at full speed. We need to actually find our target, so... Uh, cancel running silent orders, and full speed. Either, well, wrong thing, W, also an instinct, it's Q. Oh. Somebody fired a torpedo at us. Shit. That's not good. Okay, right. Shift. D. Noisemaker. Dive! 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 Fill ballast, and then cut the engines. We just sink below the thermal layer so the torpedo can't fucking find us. It's probably the ASW ship firing shit at us. Rather the, a the the bear dropping torpedoes on us. That's what we get for a certain that's what we get for coming to the thermal layer and trying to find shit. See, now this torpedo I don't think knows what the fuck's going on. But there's a definitely a torpedo in the water. It's got active sonar too. Great, awesome, fantastic. So we need to get down low, and we just need to get the fuck out of here. Oh! Now they're dropping depth charges on us! Well, we attracted the ASW fucking planes. We just need to get the hell out of here now. What's going on here? We've got flooding? Oh shit, we are flooding. Crap. Our ballast up to full. Oh, that's not good. Since we were so deep, we fuck. Oh, god damn it. Oh, great. So now we're stuck at the bottom of the water here. Okay, we need to go back up. Shit. We're now full head up. And I've got another torpedo coming in on us. We should not have come back up to the surface. We should have just left. God damn it. Turn. Turn! Ah! 
It's gonna be hunting for us. But maybe we can fuck with it. Hern! Sort sh kind of shortchange it and drop another noisemaker. Cut. Go silent. See if we can ditch the torpedo. Oh, shit. Fuck it. Full head. Go! Well, it found us basically immediately, so now we're gonna take a torpedo hit. Now we might die. Yeah. Ah! Jesus! Ivan, get your fucking torpedoes away from me! Ah, we're taking on water. There's a fucking torpedo hunting us. We're at fucking Crush Jeff, basically. We need to go up. Ah. Or just need to get the hell away from this torpedo. Drop as many fucking noise makers as we can possibly can and just get the fuck out of here. That ASW ship is fucking absolutely dogging us. Now that we know, when we stop seeing contacts, fuck it. Don't use active radar or sonar. Uh, I think we just exploded. Fucking hell! That There's no warning to that. There's very little warning to that. God damn it. God damn it, shark! Ah, oh, she was a proud vessel. She's a damn fine boat. But now we know, don't use active radar at all. I was trying to be careful and experiment here, but active sonar, that's what it is. I keep saying active radar and sonar. It's not the same thing, but sonar is just like, you know, no, fuck you. So the ship broke apart attempting to dodge a torpedo underwater. Rip what a saint. We got, what did we get? We got five kills though. We did, we had a good run here. We're learning how to play the video game. Yay! Well, I suppose that's it. USS Shark SSN591 lost with all hands. Alpha escaped. It should tell me what the fuck that is so I can just leave. Well, then again, I can't actually know in the middle of a fucking in in the middle of an engagement, but okay, so now we know. If we can't pick them up on sonar passively and they're not submarines, just fucking go. So now we know that. So now, but basically what happened is we got fucking caught up. Basically, what, the only thing that was left was that fucking ASW plane dogging us. And that's what wound up killing us. And there was no actual way to detect or stop that. Or actually know if it was still in the area. Aside from that glance that we look at mass level. Get, and, and saw it around. But we didn't actually... Well, we couldn't actually see it. So now we know. Fuck it, run. We just had to lose another ship in order to do that. All those brave men at the bottom of the ocean. Rip U.S. Shark. You're an abyssal girl now. Well, I suppose that closes our second campaign. A lot better than the first one, but we're still running we're still running headlong into the cruxes of this game, and it's annoying the shit out of me, but we're gonna learn eventually. I actually look like I knew what I was fucking doing for the, mo the majority of that. But, okay, yeah, don't use active radar on the fucking surface. Or rather, at, at the, the thermal, or actually, the surface duct, rather. That's bad. Don't do that. And if you can't see any fucking targets with passive on the surface duct, just leave. Just, if you have the option to leave the engagement, just go. And we did have, we did have our target, basically. We, we sank the submarine tender, so we could have just left. But I had to go in for more blood. Rip shark. Rip, 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 and tear. But, well, all right then. Also, flooding was actually really quick because we were down so low. Fucking depth charges. All right. Well, that about closes that. So, I've been your wonderful host, Fontman, and thank you for joining me on the second attempt at playing Cold Waters. We're getting better here. I'd like to think that, well, I'm actually, I actually look like I know what I'm doing. But, I hope you've enjoyed watching and me screwing around. And I'll see you next time.
God damn it, history! Posthumously awarded the Bronze Star.